distracted. What's going on?
Okay, um, can I call you tomorrow? Because I'm going to be on here late. Well, don't be on time. I'm, I'm, only, I'm on until midnight. Well, I'll be in bed by then. Just call me soon, you know. Call me soon. I'll call you tomorrow. Call your mommy. I'll call you mommy. Bye, Shelly Belly. Don't call me that. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh my god, she talks forever. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shelly Belly is the new Truffle Shuffle. Hey, I can't. Will you come in here? Yeah, I'll come in here. Okay, I don't like. I need a charger that's the right wattage. My friend Dave said that we were about as stimulating as a squirrel wrestling with a plastic bag. That's what he said to you? Yeah, but I think that's c we're kind of stimulating. What's going on out there, guys? Do you guys have any questions for us that we could answer, maybe? <laughs> Is that your friend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a compliment, whereas entertaining as a squirrel with a... No liquids near the computer. That's like the major rule, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I can't afford a new computer right now. <laughs> I like squirrels. Do you have any questions for us? We have a hot girl, a French boy, and I have a, a third eye full of wisdom. <laughs> and I have a hat. I mean, the hat doesn't, I don't know. Nobody is, no, my Nobody hat has a wig. Yeah. Her hat has a wig. My hat has a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Joey says you're really hot, Victoria. You're so cute in this video. Oh, thanks. I know. Thanks. Here, do you want to see more of her? <laughs> you should have stayed like that. <laughs> I think we should tell stories in there with the music. Okay. That was fun. Let's be subway. You start it and then he you'll just pick up on it. Mm -hmm. The story? Um Yeah, I remember like we did the other day. Oh yeah. Like I'll I just like kinda play it and then she sits her say some and then you can just like improv with it. Okay. <sighs> Good try. What do you guys want us to make up a story about? Yeah, prompt us for a story. Make up a story about marshmallows and how they were made. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Um, let me get started up. Um, I guess we can stop this, right? I don't know what you want to do with that. Okay. Um, hold on just a second. Give me one second, guys. So... Oh, I think this is your money, but I think it was, oh. they were all like five dollars, and that's yours too, so then oh, really? we just defer them. With musical, yes, there will be musical accompaniment. <laughs> accompaniment. Accompaniment. Virtual analog accompaniment. Okay, we're going to tell this together. Mm-hmm. So once upon a time, in the 18th century, during the marshmallow apartheid, 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 apartheid. <laughs> that one thing the that happened in the 18th apartheid. century. What's up? I I don't know who you people are. Well, I know some of you. 16th century. So the intro on the back. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, what? we're telling. <laughs> well, once upon a time in the 16th century, outside of a bar in um, Lyons, France, Lyons, Lyons, France, 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 France,
France. Um, a sheep met a cloud outside of a bar, and the sheep said, Hey babe, what's up? And the cloud wasn't going to talk to the sheep because the cloud was a little stuck up there. And the sheep said, Well, don't you know I'm a plastic surgeon? And, um, <laughs> And the cloud was like, oh, well, that changes everything. And so they had a very romantic evening, um, drinking cheap uh, PBR or the 16th century French virgin. There's no PBR in France. <laughs> PBR. <laughs> <laughs> so after they drank the PBL, they were super drunk, and like they say, "Oh, let's get to the surgery right now." <laughs> <laughs> and the class were a little bit confused. And it was like, "Are you sure this is a good idea?" And the teacher was like, "Oh, of course! Like you know, I do that all the time." So like I would. I could do it without my eyes closed, and I was like, whatever. So, they came by the river, like, you know, it's beautiful, you know, it's nice, right? <coughs> and I just like, the clouds are very, like, okay, like, no, don't do that, it's a bad idea, you know, and the ship is drunk, the ship is drunk, they don't care. So, the ship comes with a fork and a knife <laughs> and it's a black sheep black it's sheep. a black sheep, yes so he starts having the surgery and the marshmallow begins like very smooth very smooth and said, let's go and let's do the revolution. And this is the start of the democracy, guys. You know what I mean? Yes. Democracy. <laughs> like the revolution. Democracy. You mean democracy? And then they burn the marshmallows on stakes because they were they pagans. Exactly. <laughs> Pagan marshmallows. Is this better? Talk, talk closer to the mic. <laughs> I can get the liquids away from my computer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot afford a new computer right now. Oh my god. I can't afford a new computer right now. <laughs> what? You're poor? <laughs> Are you I babysit. What am I doing here? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, you're totally freaking me out with the liquid next to my computer. Marshmallow means democracy. Marshmallow equals democracy. Exactly. <laughs> it's just like a National Geographic special on acid. Excuse me, but that's what's going on in Libya, you know? Like, you have to be aware of that. Like, marshmallows have been discovered in Libya, like, two months ago. That's why they're going through this, you know? Yeah. True story. <laughs> True story? 